name is Wes Hansen. I came to Idaho by bicycling across the United States 40 years ago. Did graduate work at the University of Idaho, got married, moved to my wife's family farm that they've had since 1902, built a house, found Coeur d'Alene to be a very attractive place and had a small town quality about it in the 1970s became involved in environmental issues, one of them being Cougar Bay. Taught at Lakeland High School for 30 years. Now I've retired for a few years. I write. I teach people how to paint, have displays of painting. I'm now uh, serving on as chairperson of the Kootenai County Planning Commission and vice president of Kootenai Environmental Alliance's board of directors. Uh, the reason I stay in Coeur d'Alene, besides being attached to the land in which I live, is the beautiful environment and the opportunity to link together a higher human purpose. That is, we are creatures of the earth with the recognition that this place is well worth preserving and deserves the efforts of many of us. Yeah. Uh, I haven't been on it for that long and was recently just selected to be the chairman. Uh, right now we're working primarily on adopting the codes which will implement the uh, comprehensive plan which was adopted in December of 2010. And it's been a really rewarding process trying to find balance within this community so that uh, basically we preserve this place and all its wonders far into the future and then and not destroy it by patterns of development which afflict many parts of this country. It seems to me we've gotten small as people in our vision and small as communities. We need to get bigger. We would tell has two parts to it. Um, they both share similar values. One is over the years a dedication to the preservation of Tubbs Hill. Now, it was not an easy achievement, as Scott Reed indicates in his book, but through persistence and sometimes through luck, that was achieved, and it's still a battle to preserve it. The other story related to it, part B of the story, is the preservation of Cougar Bay, which began around 20 years ago through a series of encounters that prevented development from occurring around the bay and now through conservation easements the Bureau of Land Management, the Nature Conservancy has basically protected forever the shoreline of Cougar Bay and in the future what I think is going to happen is people will increasingly realize what a valuable community resource that is whether they know the story of its preservation or not. Uh, the last words uh, I would have would be just advice, which I found to be true. If you value something, persist in your efforts to attain it, and most likely you will prevail.